Bastianich about the crazy idea that ultimately led him to millions. I was born into it. You know, it's one of those things that was just kind of like thrust upon me. So uh, my parents were immigrants, Italian immigrants that came after the war. As most immigrants did, they did what they did in the old country. So they knew how to be waiters and cooks. They opened up a restaurant in the 60s. Uh, I was born. They put me in the restaurant. And here I am. 40 so, years later, here I am. I'm, you're inhaling I'm, it at three I'm, months. I'm, yeah, so basically here, here, here you are. grown in a restaurant. But it took a lot of courage because when you started out, you, you know, sounded like you said, look, I'll go the traditional route. I'll right. go to Wall Street. I'll get some experience. That, right, and right. That was not in the cards for me. I but mean, a, like, lot of, you know, a lot of people don't a year in say, okay, I'm going to go off and do my own thing. No, like but you like, did. you know, when you have a love for food and wine, when it's in your DNA, even though, you know, Wall Street may be alluring and, you know, it was the late 80s and it was like what people did. You know, people who were successful, they grew up, they went and worked on Wall Street. They bought big houses, they had nice cars, the rest of the people were miserable. So I thought I would want to be it's one the of Gordon them. Gecko right, the Gordon Gecko. Right, the Gordon Gecko. So I did that, but then I realized that, you know, even, even if it was a great path and it was very educational, at an early age I figured I had this incredible passion for food and wine and for making wine and I knew I had to, like, kind of follow my, my genetic imperative, if you will, to, to go back to Italy, and that's what I did. Work. So I quit my job, bought a one-way ticket to Italy in 1992. You were probably still in grade school. And, uh, Not quite, but <laughs> hey, I, I'll take the compliment. And, uh, and then I lived in my VW bug and uh, traveled, you know, Italy from north to south for two years, making wine, working in restaurants, food, whatever, and just kind of fell in love with it and realized I had my epiphany that that was what I needed to do with my life. Okay, so then you, you, you open a restaurant. My first restaurant, I opened in 1993 in the theater district, and it was called yep. Becco. I borrowed $80,000 from my grandmother, yep. which was like a lot of money back then. And I opened a restaurant in the theater district, which was not very glamorous and very kind of, you know, it was a job, and I had to make mm -hmm. a living. And I opened a restaurant that probably in its first year, year did a million or $2 million if I was super lucky. But that was the stepping stone, and it's still a restaurant that I have. It's celebrating its 20th year anniversary. Still 20 there. years later, I opened up a store with some of my partners, Mario and some folks from Italy called Italy. Yes. Which, have you been to Italy? I've been to Italy. Okay. So it's this kind of market slash restaurants. It's kind of like the, the mecca of all that's great about Italian food and wine and lifestyle and people. And mm -hmm. it's on 23rd Street and 5th Avenue. And Italy in its first year did $80, did 80, 80 million dollars in sales. But it is an incredible, so, so it's in your DNA. I get it. But, right. um, but you know, you're... You're being very humble because even if it's in your DNA, starting a restaurant and having it be successful is incredibly rare and difficult to do. It is. Never mind starting a restaurant, starting a bunch of other right. restaurants. No, I've been very, starting this very food fortunate. You know, it's been 20 years. My parents did it. I grew up in it. I did it for myself. I, I joined with my partner. We've done many restaurants. We have 25 restaurants all over the world. We've been very successful. And that's not an easy thing to do. How do you know? So when you say, I'm going to open another restaurant, how do you figure out that you, you can, I mean, what is the magic? Well, you know, it's kind of our business is a grow or die business, so you can't kind of stand still because if you want to attract talent and you want great people, they need to have a future. And the only way they have a future is if they know there's other opportunities. So right. in, to be successful in the restaurant business, you kind of have to grow. And, you know, we're passionate people. We love food and wine, so it's always that idea. It's that trip to Italy. You know, it's that little thing, Trattoria, you find in Sicily where they serve X, Y, and Z. You're like, wow, that should exist somewhere in the West Village. And then you come back and you find a spot and you do it. And they're born out of a combination of necessity um, to grow your company, but also out of passion about experiences and about transmitting and, 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 and creating what you find so beautiful about the culture of Italian food and wine for your public in New York. So, so it's not always so business savvy. A lot of it is about passion. Right. So if someone was, was, was coming in now and had, had your passion, is trying to start out, um, to, to start a restaurant. Yeah, I would say what definitely would don't, do it, you don't know, do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't. Go back to Wall Street. Well, <laughs> No, of Why? course, you can do it. It's just, it's much more difficult. 20 years ago, the world, at least in New York, was a little bit simpler. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit less bureaucracy. It was a little bit less onerous. And, and really? Like just, yeah, it was an easier, it was a little bit easier. Now, you know, New York has become a very precious global commodity, and everyone wants to be here, and every inch of everything we do is very regulated, and that's good because it preserves our quality of life and our great but city. But it's really, but you're saying red tape has really, has, has well, hurt bureaucracy, the Well, bureaucracy means more money, less margin, more difficulty, and it's very really? difficult to compete, and there's a lot of restaurants who are really great, doing a lot of great things. So it's a tough racket. You know, coming into it, it's, uh, it's